In this tutorial, we'll take a look at the particle system and how you might be able to use it for creating swirling type of effects. It's a really easy setup. All right, so I'll stop this for a second and we'll create a new system all together. So here's my, there's my system in there. I'll just get rid of it like that and that is, it'll get rid of that one too. All right, so I just had a couple of objects in the scene and there's one more here that was my icosphere and that's what was actually kicking out of the particle system so all you do is you add say a plane to the scene it must be in here somewhere there it is we'll scale it up just a little bit zoom in on it all right and then when you add your particle system whoops there it is particle systems here I'll we'll give it a longer lifetime say a couple hundred and uh, that's enough for that and we'll admit it we'll just use uh, the same emitter normal normal to the face of the plane like this however when we emit it this time instead of emitting it from the faces we're going to emit it from the vertices so it'll emit from each one of these corners here like that for whatever your object happens to be so let me run it and you can see it's kicking it out like this all right then to create the swirling effect I can see I'm going to need to push those out even further on this so we'll kick those like that Okay, some, something like that. So now, um, let's add a, a rotation to this object here, because that's all I was doing, was spinning this on its own z-axis. So from here, I'll press I, get a rotation, come up here, 200, maybe I'll rotate this on z now, numerous times. and give that a rotation keyframe as well. Let's verify that that's working. Okay, it is, so now it's working. Now, however, it's a, it's a little challenging if you want to try and tilt this sideways. Say you want to shoot a, you know, a spinning thing out towards a wall or something like that. If you try and tilt this sideways, it, it simply won't work. So what you have to do is we'll just move this up here like this. And instead, we'll add a, another object to the scene. We'll just, add, we'll just add a cube for our controlling object. I'll scale them down a little. And then I'll make this uh, the child of this object here. So that gets clicked second. Then I'll parent it, control P, like this. So then when I have it like that, now when I rotate, this object, this will rotate and the particle system will still rotate on its own axis like that. So if I rotate on Y and he's rotating there, so now when I rotate it, so now he's still spinning and kicking out that way like that. And then the last thing uh, to do to the scene is you go back to the particle system itself and you come down here and you grab an object. And the object I was using was this icosphere over here. I'll move it over closer to the scene. Now you can change the color of it here, so I'll do just that. Oh, I'm in Cycles Render for the moment, so let's go into Blender Render right now. Um, let's go back to Cycles Render just for a second and get rid of that material. Then we'll go into Blender Render. Okay. And so we make the color change there. And in the older days, uh, when you wanted to change the size of the object coming out of here, you would change the size of it here, like this. But that's changed in the latest versions. So I can leave this whatever size I want. I might make it this just so I want, maybe I want to use this to model with. And then from the particle system, I choose that object named Icosphere. And then I change the size of it here because from here it doesn't really look like uh, you're seeing much size wise but you can see when I change it here the size of it changes like that and that's how I did it before but that's cool because you can come over here and just edit this as well you just tab this say grab a vertex and I change it and it changes that if you look close and cha it changes it on the fly like that so you can kick out whatever you want and it's rotating as it goes. It's just for kind of special effects or who, never, who knows, but uh, that's one really useful tip of uh, kicking the vertices out of the vertices, I mean the particles out of the vertices instead of the uh, face of the object.
All right, well, that's it for this lesson, and I'll see you in the next lesson.